about that, but it's important to understand also uh, a connection between individual technique and individual tactic. So when I ask my students on university on the first, first uh, lecture in the beginning of the year, sometimes I ask them, when you start to teach your player basket individual tactic? So some of them say at 14, 16 years, at 12. So I think it's completely opposite. So when you start to teach boys or girls, not under 15 in mini basket uh, teams, when you start to teach them individual technique, you must explain to them immediately in which situation of the, on the game they must use them, use those, those, those fundamentals. So this is individual tactic because uh, what is the tactic? Uh, proper use of individual technique. So because of that, we must start immediately with good information for the players in order to give to them information when and how to use different skills. So during all drills, it doesn't matter now in today's world, you can find on internet a lot of drills, but it's important execution of the drills. So in which drills you must use different time of different kind of dribble of passing something like that and explain to the players why you must do it so this is the main problem because if they understand basketball if you teach them individual tactic i like to say that they become the players after that is not problem to teach players horns or flex offense this is the, you need one hour to teach them moves. But if they don't understand how to pass the ball, how to dribble, when to use crossover, when between legs, when behind back dribble, it's a problem. So my first goal is here to, to explain to you how it's important to connect individual technique with individual tactic. Of course, after that, when we start to teach players, we come through the some phases. So first, demonstration should be good. Demonstration is going together with explanation when, how they use and how you must, they must execute some specific technique. And after that, uh, of course, repetition. A lot of repetitions. First is, like I said before, demonstration, uh, imitation, a lot of repetitions. After that, as soon as you can, you must put the players in, in game-like situations. And after that, how you can test their level of the skills, starting from a one-on-one -on -one game. If they use the skills, during the one-on-one -on -one game, you can go a uh, step forward. So if they don't use, for example, if they use change of direction between legs in excellent way around the cones, if they don't use them when they play one-on-one, -on -one, this is not enough. So go back to the previous part, so go back again to dribble against shares. So this is the way. So, uh, of course, speaking about fundamentals, we must uh, uh, define fundamentals is often in defense. Unfortunately, I have not a lot of time. I have just one hour to explain everything, but starting to come into the argument. So in individual defense, first, of course, individual responsibility.